Welcome to the Potter Intelligent Nitrogen Generator installation video for models INS 1500, 2000, and 2500. For more information and detailed installation instructions, please visit www.pottersignal.com. Find an installation location that is dry, clean, and well ventilated. Allow access to the front of the unit for service. The unit should be conveniently located near the fire sprinkler system connections and near a drain. Ensure a dedicated electrical circuit with an electrical disconnect switch has been supplied for power. Mount the nitrogen cabinet to the floor by locating the four 9 inch holes in the bottom of the cabinet and using the appropriate bolt and or anchor combination to secure to the floor. Recommended bolt size should be 3 8 inch. Mount the tank mounted air compressor to the floor using the four 9 inch holes located on each foot of the tank base using the appropriate bolt and or anchor combination. Recommended bolt size should be 3 8 inch. Mount the nitrogen storage tank to the floor using the four 9 inch holes located on each foot of the tank base, using the appropriate bolt and anchor combination. Recommended bolt size should be 3 8 inch. Install the supplied half inch flexible hose to the air tank outlet valve, A. Plumb half inch NPT piping from the half inch male NPT flex hose connection to the half inch female NPT inlet labeled air inlet connection A on the nitrogen cabinet. Install half inch NPT piping from the half inch female NPT outlet labeled nitrogen outlet connection B on the nitrogen cabinet to the half inch female NPT inlet valve labeled N2 inlet valve B on the nitrogen storage tank. Install half inch NPT piping from the half inch female NPT tank outlet valve labeled V03 on the nitrogen storage tank to the nitrogen air maintenance device. Pipe the provided 10 feet of quarter inch drain tubing from the drain solenoid located on the tank mounted air compressor to the floor drain in the sprinkler room. Note, do not pipe the drain tubing upward. Pipe the provided 10 feet of 3 8 inch drain tubing on the nitrogen cabinet to the floor drain in the sprinkler room. Note, do not pipe the drain tubing upward. Each riser requires a minimum of one nitrogen purge valve to be installed prior to implementing the nitrogen purging procedure. For installation instructions, refer to model NGP SPV bulletin or model INSPV manual supplied with each purge valve. Note, purge valves must be installed as shown to allow oxygen to escape. Water trapped in piping can also block the flow of nitrogen to the purge orifice. Four electrical connections must be made during the installation of the INS 1500, 2000, or 2500. One, air compressor at 208, 230, or 460 volts three phase. Two, a dedicated 120 volt connection for the air tank blowdown located at the bottom of the tank mounted air compressor. Three, a dedicated 120 volt connection for the nitrogen cabinet panel display, and four, the compressor sensor wire located on the air compressor to the nitrogen cabinet. All wiring should be performed by a licensed electrician and conform to NEC and all applicable local standards. Run a dedicated electrical circuit with an electrical disconnect switch to the installation location. Open the panel on the air compressor to access the wiring connections. Depending on the voltage selected, follow the wiring diagram in the supplied compressor OEM manual or on page 48 of the Potter INS 1500, 2000, or 2500 manual. Caution! For three-phase motors, ensure the air compressor turns in the correct direction labeled on the air compressor motor. Locate the compressor sensor wire on the tank-mounted air compressor. Run the wire to the nitrogen cabinet through the cord grip provided on the right side of the nitrogen cabinet labeled Compressor Sensor Wire C. Inside the nitrogen cabinet, connect the wires to the compressor sensor wire terminal blocks. Wire the black wire to the terminal labeled CSB and the white wire to the terminal labeled CSW. Locate the air tank blowdown on the bottom of the air compressor tank. Using the provided 10 feet of 120 volt cord, plug the blowdown into a dedicated wall outlet. Ensure the power LED is illuminated on the air tank blowdown. The blowdown timer should be set for three seconds on and five minutes off. Caution, 
Losing power to the air tank blowdown can cause moisture buildup in the air compressor tank and flooding of the nitrogen membrane. For optional internet connectivity, wire a Cat5 Ethernet cable using a half-inch knockout on the cabinet to the Ethernet port on the Intelligent controller on the inside of the nitrogen cabinet. If an IntelliPurge nitrogen purge valve is being used, wire stranded three-wire cable to the appropriate P-Link terminal blocks next to the controller using a three-quarter inch knockout on the left side of the cabinet. Using the same three-quarter inch knockout on the left side of the cabinet, a Form C relay is available to wire any building management system to the BMS terminal blocks. Before beginning, make sure the water supply to the sprinkler system is turned off. Make sure all piping connections have been made in accordance with the installation instructions. Ensure the electrical disconnect to the compressor motor is shut off and the control power only switch located on the right side of the nitrogen cabinet is in the off position. Close the air maintenance device. If multiple air maintenance devices are used, ensure all valves are in the closed position. Close the N2 tank outlet valve labeled V03 on the nitrogen storage tank. Open the N2 inlet valve labeled V02 on the nitrogen storage tank. Turn power on to the nitrogen cabinet and panel display using the control power only switch located on the right side of the nitrogen cabinet. The intelligent display will turn on indicating power with a green LED labeled power. Note, there will be a short delay as the intelligent display turns on and the system boots up. The amber LED labeled bypass will activate if the pressure is less than 55 PSI in the nitrogen storage tank. Turn power on to the air compressor using the electrical disconnect switch. The air compressor will begin running and the pressure in the nitrogen tank will begin to rise. Start recording the time it takes until the compressor turns off. When the nitrogen tank pressure reaches approximately 80 PSI, the valves inside the cabinet will close and the compressor will turn off. If the nitrogen generator is isolated from the fire sprinkler system, the air compressor of the INS 1500, 2000, and 2500 should take no longer than 10 minutes to pressurize both tanks and turn off in bypass mode. If the air compressor is not turning off or it is taking longer than expected, refer to the troubleshooting section in the manual. When the nitrogen tank is pressurized, the amber LED labeled bypass on the intelligent display will turn off and the mode of the intelligent display will change to N2 mode. This indicates that the unit is now in nitrogen generating mode. Check all piping connections for leaks as pre-plumb fittings may have loosened during shipment. Any pressure drop on the tank during this time could indicate a leak. To ensure the nitrogen generator is operating correctly and the correct nitrogen purity is being produced, a functional test must be performed. On the inside of the nitrogen cabinet, locate the blue N2 bleed valve labeled V01. Fully open the blue N2 bleed valve and begin relieving the pressure from the nitrogen storage tank. Quickly close the blue N2 bleed valve when you see the red LED on the compressor unloader labeled XV04 turn on. This will happen at approximately 60 PSI as shown on the IntelliGen display. Immediately begin timing to see how long it takes to reach approximately 80 PSI in the nitrogen storage tank while the nitrogen generator is in nitrogen generating mode. Note, if the pressure in the nitrogen tank drops below 55 PSI, the nitrogen generator will return to bypass mode. Close the valve and wait for the nitrogen generator to refill the tank and the unit to return to N2 mode before trying again. If the nitrogen generator is isolated from the fire sprinkler system, the INS 1500 should take no longer than eight minutes to pressurize the nitrogen storage tank to 80 PSI. The INS 2000 should take no longer than five minutes to pressurize the nitrogen storage tank to 80 PSI. And the INS 2500 should take no longer then eight minutes to pressurize the nitrogen storage tank to 80 PSI. During this time, connect the portable nitrogen analyzer to the nitrogen sample port labeled SP to measure the purity of the exiting gas. The analyzer should read 98% plus or minus 1%. This may take a few minutes. When the nitrogen generator reaches approximately 80 PSI in the nitrogen storage tank, the red instrument air solenoid lights will turn off and the compressor will continue to run until pressure in the compressor tank is satisfied. 
Now we must fill the fire sprinkler system to supervisory pressure and begin the purge process. To fill the fire sprinkler system, open the N2 tank outlet valve labeled V03 on the nitrogen storage tank and open the bypass valve on the air maintenance device. The pressure in the nitrogen storage tank will decrease rapidly, causing the nitrogen generator to switch to bypass mode and the air compressors to turn on. The amber LED labeled bypass will turn on and the mode on the intelligent display will turn to bypass mode. This indicates that the nitrogen generator is filling the system with air to meet the NFPA required 30 minute fill time. Allow the fire sprinkler system to reach the desired supervisory pressure. This should take 30 minutes or less. Note, fill one system at a time. Filling multiple systems at once could lead to longer compressor run times and possible damage to the equipment. Allow air compressors to cool before beginning again. As soon as sprinkler system supervisory pressure is reached, put the sprinkler system back into service by placing the air maintenance device in the maintenance position. Refer to the air maintenance device manual for proper operation. When the sprinkler system or systems are completely filled, the nitrogen generator will repressurize the nitrogen storage tank to capacity. The air compressors will turn off and the unit will automatically return to nitrogen generating mode or N2 mode. Note, the amber LED labeled bypass should be off and the mode on the intelligent display will display N2 mode. Set the sprinkler system capacity by pressing enter on the intelligent display keypad. Select settings using the keypad and press enter. Enter passcode 0000. Select leak rate and press enter. Press enter to change settings. Select sprinkler capacity and press enter. Using the numeric keypad, Enter the total capacity of all supervised systems and press enter. Press escape to return to the main menu. Reset the leak rate by pressing the MAINT button, short for maintenance, on the Intelligen display keypad. Enter 0000 for the passcode. Move the cursor to the XSN2 demand and press enter. Press enter on the keypad to clear maintenance alert and reset leak rate labeled LR. You will receive confirmation that the alert has been cleared. Press escape to return to the main screen. Set the time and date by pressing enter on the intelligent display keypad. Select settings using the keypad and press enter. Enter passcode 0000. Select date, time and press enter. Select Set Date Time and press Enter. Begin by setting the month using the numeric keypad, pressing the right arrows to advance. This process for the day and then the year. Press right again to advance to the time. Using the numeric keypad, select the hour and then press the right arrow. Next, set the minutes and press the right arrow. Use the up and down arrows to select AM or PM and then press Enter. Press Escape to return to the main screen. If an INSPV is connected to the nitrogen generator, the network must be learned before a purge can be started. Press Enter on the Intelligen Display keypad. Select Settings using the keypad and press Enter. Enter passcode 0000. Select Network and press Enter. Select Learn Network and press Enter. This will cycle through all available addresses to find programmed network devices. Once this is complete, you will be given two options, P-Link Found and P-Link Removed. Select P-Link Found and press Enter. Use the up and down arrow keys to verify that all devices have been found and press escape. Press enter to accept these changes. The Intelligent Display keypad and all connected INSPVs will reboot. If an INSPV is connected to the generator and you have learned the network, press the purge button on the Intelligent Display keypad. Enter 0000, press start purge, select all devices, 
press Enter. The system is now purging. If an NGP SPV mechanical purge valve is being used, simply remove the brass plug and open the ball valve. This completes the installation for Potter's INS 1500, 2000, and 2500 nitrogen generator. For more information, please visit www.pottersignal.com.